thieves represents uh, the gangster class. Those who choose the road below the status quo. Those who choose the low road. Why would anyone choose the low road? It appears that one of the games that Satan plays on you is that he makes you think so little of yourself that you don't have any better option than the low road. You hear a lot of folks from the hood, our neighborhoods, declare that we have so many strikes against us that we don't have a choice but to sink into the life of crime, selling drugs and trying to make money the low way. Those who make it in life talks about how their parents, their mother, and or their father encouraged them to do better, to reach beyond what their environment would declare they must become. Uh, this matter of the thieves hanging with Jesus, two of them, not just one, because we have a tendency to want to say a good thief and a bad thief. Because one says, remember me. Right. Yeah. And other was talking trash. Okay. But the truth of the matter is they were both thieves. Right. Right. They were both uh, categorized with the same label. They were thieves. You can't be crucified unless you were guilty of a horrible crime. Right. They were thieves because they were professional criminals. They right. were feared by the good people. They were the ones like that fellow on the Jericho Road, yeah. the Good Samaritan shows up. He, he was beaten, left for dead, and robbed. And it wasn't until the Good Samaritan came that he had any hope of survival. Right. These were professional evil men. They were men who uh, would get their gain by doing mischievous things to you. And, and don't fool yourself. Many good people uh, don't care for folk with crime. They can't walk the streets at night because they're concerned somebody might rob them. Bars on your door, on your poor windows and doors because you're afraid somebody might break into your house. Many of us have guns. Bullets in them because we want to be able to defend ourselves if some um, uh, seemingly fellow lady would break in the house and want to do you harm. It's not the kind of thing that most people look forward to. But I'm trying to get you to see that these were gangsters. These were evil folk. And these were folk who were good at what they did. They, mm -hmm. were, they uh, were crucified. They were hanged. They were uh, rocks. Uh, was thrown on them. Many of them were stoned to death. They were thrown in the arenas with the animals to eat up. They were burned alive. They were thrown in sacks full of snakes. Uh, uh, they, they were evil and part of them. And the government felt like they would do what they have to do to get rid of them. Oh, don't fool yourself. Modern time gangsters, murderers, thieves, dope addicts, uh, serial killers. They, they are a whole lot better. You heard names like Al Capone now. John Dillinger and Jesse James. Ku Klux Klan, you know, fellas <laughs> like Hitler and Mussolini. They, 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 these are the kind of folk who get your attention as being evil people. Right. And in our modern times, in order to pass a lot of laws, they, they think about these kind of folks because folk are afraid of the gangsters. Why would someone choose a life uh, below the status quo? But then there's another category here, the good guys. The good guys. Uh, truth be told, there's not really but one fellow we can really talk about being the good guy yeah. here. Yeah. That's that fellow in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, the yes, second class, the good guy, uh, is this fellow we call Jesus. Uh, he is God. There's some who would uh, argue with you that he was divine. They would say he was only a man. But even with those uh, 
of those who don't want to say he was divine would have to agree he was a good man. Yeah. We declare he was born of a virgin. There are some folk who believe he was born of a virgin. There are some who don't believe he was born of a virgin. But, but they would have to agree, Brother Clint, he was a, a good man. Yeah. Those of us who are believers say he rose from the dead early that Sunday morning. We believe in resurrection, but there are those who don't believe in resurrection. They say it's a bunch of crap. Just like some folk don't believe man ever went to the moon, you know. You, I find no matter what's going on in life, people can always uh, plant seeds of doubt in your mind. But even if they say he didn't rise from the dead, they ought to agree he was a, a good man. He went around performing miracles, uh, healing the sick, giving sight to the blind, uh, raising the dead. Uh, you might not agree with all of that, uh, but, but you know he was a good man. He was a good man. What, what, what did he do? How can you declare his works were good works? Mm -hmm. So stated earlier, he helped the poor. He gave sight to the blind. He raised the dead. He made lame people walk. He forgave people of their sins. People yeah. who were possessed by evil spirits. He yeah. declared them free yeah. and rid them of their evil possessions. Yeah. He was a non-violent kind of person. He told you to love your enemies. Do good to them that despitefully. You, you can't say he was a rotten man. Because he was going around saying if they hit you on the left, you turn them over the right cheek. Uh, he was really a non violent, non uh, 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 eventful kind of guy as a place to trying to do everybody harm. He, he, he know how to take regular folk, ordinary folk, uneducated folk, and turn them into giants. He took fishermen and and tax collectors and folk who were evilly thought of and he revolutionized their lives. He changed their whole life. He was a, a good man. Uh, his, his works talked about good. He, he was a man who know what being good was all about. You can say what you want about him. You can talk about him in a whole lot of ways, but when you look at his works, his works were good works. Right. You know I have a witness here. Right. Well, my brothers and sisters, if he was such a good man, why did they crucify him with the bad guy? Hmm. If this guy was such a good guy, why was he messed up around two things that, that I just told you? Both didn't get crucified unless they were guilty of something that was very evil, something that was very wrong, something that was really not very righteous. Why was he on that cross on Calvary? Well, my brothers and sisters, uh, you're going to find out as I hurry to my clothes and I'm talking about the grudgingly painful that there are two kinds of people the world really don't like. That is the very good and the very evil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you If you bad, the world don't like you. But if you're good, the world don't like you either. So I have to look this here. Oh yeah, that goes since you say you have to act like it's all good. That, that if you want to get in trouble in this world, you be bad or you be good. Yeah. And they don't really want you. They don't want people who are worse than they are, but they really don't want to hang around a lot of folk who are better than they are either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys who smoke don't like to hang around with fellas who don't smoke. Fellas who drink don't want you. I told you I had a lot of brothers. Preachers didn't want to hang around. They love to talk with me, brother. Clint. We can talk about the Bible. We can talk about a whole lot of stuff. When they got ready to take a drink, they didn't want me nowhere around. I wish I had a witness here. Unless I was going to drink with them. I, I, I sneak with them talks. I ain't going to tell nobody. They don't believe that stuff. If, if you ain't drinking, you got to leave. I wish I had a like I'm big. And so you know you know what I'm talking about. You know you don't like folk who don't do the same stuff you uh, do. You want folk who are just as guilty as you are. They were too good. You call them too 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 good. Good job. Good job. Uh, well, these these painful uh, uh, these grudgingly painful people. I call them in my last point. I, I got to my last point. I ain't gonna be long. With it. Be long with it. <laughs> Painful, the painful, the painful people. These are the people.
people who serve as those who choose the status quo. They choose the middle. Now look at here, look how I twisted that thing. I told you about the man in the middle. When I paint my scene, it's really simple to see the man in the middle is Jesus Christ. Boy, I have a witness here. Well, look how I just flipped the script over. I just told you you got the good guys and the bad guys. But then you got the guy in the middle. Right. Yeah. Come on, see how I mean that thing? I done made the middle the evil side now. See, right. so you got to be careful about being in the middle. See, this matter of, of some people uh, uh, want uh, the status quo because they want things to remain where the way that they are. Right. Have you ever thought about it? The same people that killed the thieves are the same people who killed Jesus. Right. 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 I wish I had a witness here. Right. Have you ever thought about the folk that killed Jesus were the educated people? Uh -huh. They were the professional people. They were the learned people. They were the good guys. They were respected and respectable. They were, they were the folk who had the positions. They were they were political leaders. They were, were spiritual religious leaders. Uh, uh, you see Pilate who is over the Roman government. He has all kinds of power. He's somebody. He, he's not the kind of fellow you look at and say he's no good. He's a bum. He's the kind of folk you tell your boy you want him to be like when he grows up. You want him to be a lawyer, a doctor, get a good position, a high position, be the president of the United States. You, he, he was a man in power, and yet he participated in crucifying Jesus. These religious leaders, they were the leaders of that day. They were the spiritual leaders. They were concerned with the law and the laws of the land. But more importantly, they represented the laws of God. They represented people who knew God better than anybody else. And yet they spearheaded the attack on Jesus. Yeah, yeah, the man who was over it all, the man over the Sanhedrin, he says, it's feasible that a good man could die in order that good folk better than him uh, uh, as good uh, would not have to suffer. You see, uh, good folk got a problem. These kind of good folk had a problem with Jesus because Jesus represented something that made them look too bad. He was a good man that, that shined the light on them. How is it they did all they could to bring attention on themselves and here is this man who never went to school got a crowd bigger than they ever could attract in the first place. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. These, these fellows who didn't want to change tradition because when you change tradition, you mess it with their, their livelihood. They want things to remain kind of like they are. It's kind of like the rich in our land today. Don't change too many laws because I want my wealth to seep away. Don't give too much to the common people because you're taking money out of my pocket. It's amazing to me how you got $400 billion and you're worried about whether you're going to eat tomorrow. How is you going to have more money than you can spend in your lifetime and you still don't want to share with anybody? These are the kind of folk that we are dealing with. These are the kind of folk who crucified Jesus. These are the folk who walk the middle road. These are the folks who kind of want things to remain the way that they are. And I've got to tell you, you don't have to look over the corners to see them. You don't have to go on Wall Street to see them. You don't have to go in Washington, D.C. to see them. You can just look around and see them right here in church because you've got a lot of folks who are middle of the road right here in the sanctuary. A lot of folks who don't want things to change. They're living too good. Life is too large. For you to change too much. I'm driving a nice car. I live in a nice house in a nice neighborhood. I, I'm doing all right. Don't change a whole lot. I don't want you to start feeling like you're just as good as I am. They, they won't talk. They won't call my name with the same respect. If everybody get on my level, do I have a witness here? These are the grudgingly painful folk, and they have a problem with Jesus. They had a problem with this middle man. Do I have a witness here? But as I heard to my clothes, I said I was attracted to this. He said he's disturbed. I'm disturbed. We live in a world 
that people are quick to label folk. They're quick to call them bad. They're quick to call them good. But you know, a lot of folk that are being called good ain't all that good. Right? Well, I ain't going to say Trump. I know y'all thought I was going to call his name. But just because you say he's good don't mean he's good. A lot of folk who think they're bad, but just because you call them bad don't mean they're bad. It amazes me how the media can scrutinize by which he may need some scrutiny, but why is it you got so smart in all of a sudden, all the time, four years ago, when, when the other man was in office, you didn't seem to ask him all these questions. You got seen him exercise all this scrutiny. Why is it? You got all these questions now when somebody's trying to help somebody. You can find a problem with his methods and his ways. And this other man was doing all kinds of low things and you had no problem with him. It seems like to me there's a problem with folk who want to maintain the status quo. Let me ask you, what side do you fall on? Do you want things to remain the way they are? Do you want things to remain on the status quo? Well, I talked about good guys, and I said there's a good guy by the name of Jesus. Well, truth be told, he had some followers by the name of, uh, uh, he wasn't named Jesus, but they were named Christian. They were Jesus followers. Uh, have you ever seen folk get in trouble because they're trying to do right? Yeah. You ever heard of a thing called Susan B. Anthony? Yeah. And she got in trouble and she was ostracized because she had nerve enough to suggest that women ought to have the right to vote. Yeah. She had nerve enough to declare that women ought to receive an education just like men ought to have education. Y'all remember that little girl that got shot over there? Overseas because she was trying to go to school, and you know, you know, it was just a few years ago we had the same kind of problems right here in America. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you, right. you look to be kind of funny. It really ain't all that much better right now, but right. some of y'all still got that uh, attitude. If, if the wrong person standing in the pulpit, you ah, you love your free and you want to do the right thing, but she better not be a female up here because God don't have as amazing as Paul is, as liberated as Paul is. He went all. But the same Paul said that women all not speak in the church. Oh, this title is right. right. But you've got to deal with the fact that a lot of us are carrying some prejudices that really means all we want to do is maintain the status quo. We don't want things to change too much. I, I don't mind you liberating preachers, but don't get too far out there. I mind you doing the right thing, but don't get too far out there. That, that, that I told you folks got a problem with bad people, but they also have a problem with the good people. Right. Let me close here, and I want to close right about the Lord, uh, that, that this middle man I told you is a man called Jesus. Yeah. He got a man on the right side, and he got a man on the left side. Now, my question is, why was he there in the first place? Why would he be crucified with them? Uh, well, he was a good guy. But no, the truth be told, Jesus was more than a good guy. Yeah, that's one of the tricks of Satan. He wants you to think that Jesus was just a good man. But Jesus wasn't just a good man. He's a great man. Jesus wasn't just a great man. He was, uh, I wish I had been this there. He was my Savior. He was my Lord. Uh, the same Jesus. You can tell how he separates himself from the rest of the crowd. These people who are spitting in his face and beating on him and calling all kinds of names. Uh, what was his response to such cruelty? I can hear him now. He says, Father, forgive them. For they don't know what they are doing. This Jesus shows his greatness when he gives John his mama and his mama to John. Jesus was a good man. He was hanging on that tree. He was trying to stay there for you and for me. One of those things said, why don't you come down and defend yourself. Uh, save yourself and save us. But this great Jesus, he stayed right there. Why would he stay on the cross when he should have been in the first place? Why would he be there? Well, the reason is he was a man on the mission. He wasn't just a man in the middle. Uh, he was a man on the mission. He was sent to do a job. Uh, God so loved the world uh, that he 
he sent Jesus uh, that whosoever believed in him uh, would not perish uh, but have everlasting life. He's a great man. Uh, he wasn't just yeah, a great man. Uh, he was truth. Uh, he says, for I am the way. I'm the truth uh, and I'm the life. It amazes me how we've gotten so arrogant. Uh, we declare we have our own truth. Uh, and I'm telling my truth. Uh, you tell your truth and I'm going to tell my truth. Uh, you better wake up, baby. There is no my truth and your truth. Uh, there's only one truth. Uh, and that truth uh, is
choose blessing. Choose the high road. You can choose to mess up or you can choose to fix up. Choose the high road. Choose the high road. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad. Choose the high road. Let go and let God. And he'll make a difference in your life. Whosoever will, let it come. Father God, we bless your name today. We praise you. We adore you. We magnify you. Touch hearts right now, Master. Touch spirits right now, Lord. Let everybody present feel your presence. Feel your power. More importantly, feel your guidance. If they're three years old or 93, let them know that you are real in their lives. They're here today, Lord. Looking for a church home, touch them right now. If they're here today and they're in a storm and they need you to say, Peace, be still, speak that peace to their life right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who shall will. Let it come. Jesus. 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 There is something about. Good name. 